At the end of time, towards that era, the Prophet ﷺ tells us about a very strange man who will rule the earth, an Abyssinian king will rule the earth. His name, as the Prophet ﷺ describes him, is It's a name and a description. Dhusawaiqatain means the man of the peculiar looking shins. They're thin and they're short. Dhusawaiqatain. He will come from Abyssinia, Al Habasha, Ethiopia. And he will destroy the Kaaba. Not the Medina, the Kaaba itself, the holiest symbol of the Muslims today. He will destroy the Kaaba in order to steal its treasure and clothe covering. What I understand from that is the covering they have on it today. The Kaaba is the ancient building which was built by Ibrahim السلام, and whose foundations were laid by Adam. This is the hadith of the Prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that it is reported from Kaab al Ahbar that this Suwaiqatayn will first emerge at the end of Isa alayhi salam's time. Allah will send Isa alayhi salam at the head of a vanguard of between seven and eight hundred. While they are marching towards this Suwaiqatayn, it is a special army of about 500 800 special which Isa alayhi salam will take with him. To fight the Suwaiqatayn. Allah will send a breeze from the direction of Yemen, which will take the soul of every believer. Only the worst of people will be left, and they will begin to live like animals or copulate like animals. Ka'ab al who said, At that time, the hour will be close at hand. Now that we know this, the Suwaiqatayn will come and grab the Kaaba, break it brick by brick, and no one will be able to stop him. No one will stop him because there'll be no one to stop him. Either he'll be so powerful, Allahu A'lam about that, but what the hadiths indicate is that there will be no believers on that time. When that happens, my dear brothers and sisters, and the Kaaba is destroyed, therefore, no believers, Muwahid. You heard the hadith earlier that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send the breeze before the Muslims reach the Suwaiqatayn and every believer. In another hadith, Prophet said, Every believer, Muwahid, who is a monotheist, believes in only one God and doesn't make any shirk, will die. Will die peacefully from this breeze. And only the disbelievers and the tyrants and the criminals will stay on earth. The Kaaba is destroyed. The symbols of Islam are destroyed. The Quran has been lifted. There is no more Islamic knowledge. What's left? Ad dunya. The world. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ad dunya mal'una. The dunya is cursed. Mal'unun ma fiha. Everything in it is cursed. Illa dhikrullahi wa ma wala. Except for the remembrance of Allah and whoever are the allies of the remembrance of Allah. So the beasts and creatures are allies of the remembrance of Allah. Because Allah says in the Quran, there isn't anything on earth other than the humans and jinns, except that it glorifies in the name of Allah, but you cannot understand their praise. And in other verses in the Quran, Allah talks about mountains and trees and all that that glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The point is, Allahu A'lam, what will happen to the animals? Will they die before the end of time? Allah knows best. But the point is, everything on earth is cursed that does not follow the allegiance of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the final sign before the day of, of, of destruction is the fire. And now, Rasul sallallahu tells us, you find this hadith in Sahih Muslim, you find it in Bukhari, you find it in almost all the books of hadith, six books, major books of hadith. A fire will come out. From where exactly, we don't know, but it comes from towards uh, the uh, the northern part of the of the world, and it will spread through the world. Could be acid, could be something from the earth, volcanic eruptions. Only Allah knows exactly. The point is, it burns, and the people of the world will run away from that fire because it will take over their homes and lands. It's no longer livable. Can't live there anymore. 
Is it a meteorite that will hit the earth? Allahu A'lam. Only Allah knows exactly. The point is it's now. And it will gather the people, Rasul said, it will gather the people to their gathering. Mahsharihim. Some scholars say this means that it will gather them to the place where they will be resurrected on a day of judgment. That's the place on earth. Some other scholars say, no, it will gather them together in a place, in one place, and that's where the world will end and they'll all die there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Then the first moments of the destruction of the world begins.